One, two, one, two. Stone is the way of the walk. That was a good one. Mark, make a meaty. Ooh. Be the mic guy. <laughs> so how is it to be in Luxembourg? Oh, it's awesome to be here. Um, oh, which one are you? RTL? All right. It's awesome to be here, you know. Uh, I think the last time we were here was a long time ago. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember quite. I think maybe 2010 or something. If that. <clears throat> Yeah, especially on the heels of, you know, being shut down during the pandemic. Now we're able to tour in 2022, RTL, and, uh, you know, being back on the road, performing in front of live audiences uh, with new music, new music coming. So we're excited to be out. Yeah, we're very excited to get out there on stage to rock with the crowd and uh, play some music. How have the past years been for you guys? I mean, COVID, pandemic, it's something easy as a musician. How have you managed to keep up the spirit? Um, fortunately, we were able to put our album in 2020 called uh, Translation uh, during the pandemic. You know, we, we really focused. Uh, Will stood in the studio. He was isolated in the studio and really made sure to, to finish it, produce it, and make sure that we were able to get it out in 2020. And that album and that project uh, spawned hits like Ritmo with J Balvin, uh, Girl Like Me with Shakira, um, uh, Fill the Beat with Maluma, Mamacita with Osuna. So the fact that we were able to put out a record but not able to tour, uh, it was a blessing because we were uncertain on what we were going to be able to do as far as uh, creatively. Um, but we put that out to give people a sense of hope, positivity, and, and um, you know, something, a feel-good album. Yeah, we were, we were working through pandemic. We did our last video before pandemic, which is Mamacita, and then... Uh, um, Vida Loca. Vida Loca. Um, yeah, so we, we utilize the time to be creative. Just to talk about some of the names. So you're a very Latin American inspired uh, last album. Is that also the road you want to pursue in the future? Or? We have a new song coming out on Friday called Don't You Worry featuring Shakira and David Guetta. And um, this new project that is going to follow uh, don't you worry, we'll have a bunch of different types of influences and collaborations, but we're, we're definitely thinking about the globe, you know, um, every single territory that has vibrant frequencies like Latin America and Spain, you know, the music that's coming out of there is really, really freaking awesome. What's coming out of South Africa right now is freaking crazy amazing, um, and, and the UK still is slapping with some awesome stuff too. So we, we, we just want to be able to, and Korea's freaking, South Korea's great. Brazil. Brazil, like wowzers. Like, you know, so just paying attention to what, you know, it's like a global village. Mm. But before the 90s, the 2000s, what happened in those areas were stayed in those areas. Now what's happening is like traveling around the planet and it's really awesome. So you're gonna hear a lot of that fusion you know, cross collaboration on this new Black Eyed Peas project, 2022. Did you talk about the prestigious collaboration? Um, now, uh, which artists who you really dream uh, for the future collaboration? Maybe, maybe one. Uh, DJ Snake. Yeah, I really want to rock with DJ Snake on Why? this project. Why? Uh, DJ Snake's, I don't know, he's awesome. Uh, His beats. It's pretty. His beats are awesome. Starts with that. <laughs> you already talk with him? Huh? We have a song with him on, on translation. Um, for the it's called Action. So Action was a DJ Snake beat. And so we're, we're going to try to do something with DJ Snake again on this project. Diplo. Diplo would be great. So what can we expect from your show tonight? Energy. Um, a lot of uh, you know sweat because it's hot outside. Uh, jumping around, feeling... You know, the vibe, the, the people. I'm telling you, people are excited to see live performances. We were locked down for a long time. People felt, you know, uncertain of what our future was going to be. The fact that we're able to bring therapy with our music for that hour, 75 minutes that we're on stage, it's a blessing. 
and we just want to you know give love and show the uh, the appreciation for all the people that have been rocking with us for for years. <clears throat> First and foremost, it's our brotherhood, um, we're family, and uh, we remain hungry and try to and try to like um, be student of the game. Just like Will said, you know, every country we go to, we we get inspired and try to bring it back home and and I include it in the new project. Hell yeah. Um, you know, uh, it's a gradual thing. We weren't looking for a replacement, you know. Uh, Will does uh, the voice UK, and I've been doing the voice Philippines, and uh, just discovered a talented artist um, that we wanted to develop and, uh, you know, uh, expose to the world. And uh, uh, she's part of the new uh, family now. Uh, continue putting out music, you know, competing, uh, staying hungry, uh, wanting to learn and educate ourselves about what's going on in the world, what's going on in the universe, because this song, Don't You Worry, is intergalactic. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Um, but yeah, you know, just keep on pushing each other to strive, not, not just in music, but other endeavors that we have, you know, always continue to get better, whatever we practice, whatever discipline we're in. Um, you know, and, and also just do a lot of work outside of the P's to be able to give back in whatever personal um, journeys we're on, philanthropy, um, the give back. That's something that's important to us too. The bass is kicking it. Sorry. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, sorry. It's ready. Uh, that Keith song. Is it? Yeah, I've been doing The Voice for 10 years now. Wow, a decade. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> 10 years of doing The Voice. Uh, some awesome singers come on the stage. Great talent. Um, it's great to be around people that are hungry, that still see music as you know, a place of admiration, aspiration, and it keeps you humble. It keeps you like appreciative of the careers that we have mm. because there's so many people that would want to swap places in a heartbeat that are just as talented um just as committed just as dedicated um just as committed and uh yeah so that keeps you there's there's two ways of looking at competition one is looking at competition from like ooh, i want to be successful i want money 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 and then there's competition like I want music to feel new every time. I want it to feel like this is a gift every time. Because a lot of times you can get like, you can get uh, blinded by success and just the day to day that you don't appreciate the moment. Mm. You, don't, you don't appreciate just what we're able to do for a living. Like we're able to make music and that's, that's a pretty beautiful thing to do for a living. And so being on The Voice is a reminder of that and uh, just how grateful and blessed we are. Uh, at the same time, it provides us to have an opportunity to pave way for new careers. And that's the reason why we have J-Ray with us. Um, so I'm happy that Apple brought her to the fold um, because somebody gave us a chance in the past and believed in us. And this is our, our contribution to that same gift that was given to us to give to other folks. Who's Richard? He's a police now. <laughs> Who's Richard? Hollywood uh, Star, the Adjustic Action, um, again, the promotion of your arms for the new daily shooting in the United States and so on. And um, what do you think about this disturbing phenomenon in the, in the country? Um, should celebrities like you? Uh, get involved uh, in the subject? What was it? Um, 
talking about firearms in in the uh, in the U.S. The, shootings. the amendment, like, what do we think about that? What's our stance on that? Um, regulations are important. You know, uh, I love to travel. I love to fly on airplanes. And although it would be nice to fly in a fighter jet, people don't have access to fighter jets. Because certain things should not be domestic. And But to getting to point A to point B is important. Protecting yourself is important, but then there's limits to, like, there should be limits. And people having, like, military weapons probably doesn't sound like the best thing for, you know... And, and, and the way that we've responded with that freedom, you could see that there's been a, a misuse of freedom, an abuse of freedom. Um, but I, I, I always use that as an example of air traffic control. And no matter how much money Bill Gates has, he's not flying around in a fighter jet. Imagine, I mean, yes, uh, Jeff Bezos has a rocket to go to space. <laughs> Wow, it's <laughs> true. But it's not a fighter jet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wow, the difference. It's true. Yeah. Does, does Elon Musk have, have one? Yeah, Elon Musk has uh, SpaceX, <laughs> but it's not right. a fighter jet. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thank, Thank you.